What's going on everybody, Toby Wan Shinobi here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a sniper training course against bots so that you can practice your sniping skills. Now, right now we're in creative, all you have to do is go into uh, the lobby, under game modes you can go ahead and select creative, and it will bring you to a hub like this. You're going to run up to this computer screen right here, well, okay, we're just going to create a new one. So, we're going to go over to uh, Survival Island with caves, sure, and we're gonna confirm, and then we're gonna call this, cool, all right. We're gonna set the portal for that, this loads, don't walk through this yet until this loads in. And now we will load in. Now the first thing we wanna do is dive down here. We're gonna set up some, some settings for our island, this game. Uh, first of all, the teams, it's going to be a free-for-all. The spawn limit is infinite. That's great. After last spawn, go to uh, team one, just in case people come in. Now, let's see. Total rounds, one, team rotation disabled. Uh, the only thing we really want to change here now is this timer, because that's just not enough time. So we're doing an hour right here. <clears throat> And that's really all we have to change here. And now we're going into settings, and we're gonna change the time of day to being something more daylight, 2 p.m., sure. And then we're also going to go to starting health, invincible, so that we're never gonna die. Uh, we're going to put, uh, I think, infinite ammo on, infinite consumables on. And that should be everything that we need to do. Oh, actually, environment damage. Environment damage, we're gonna just turn this off. And then we're gonna do change structure damage to um, none. Weapon destruction. And we're gonna put this at none so that people can't destroy our builds and that uh, they can't destroy the environment when they're shooting with a weapon. Okay, cool. So that is good to go. Now, we're gonna press back here. We're gonna go into that menu one more time, my island. We're gonna to go to creative. And in galleries here, we're gonna go scroll down over here on the left until we find parkour. You don't have to do this, but uh, so we're just gonna go into this gallery here. But what I'm doing right now is setting up some ramps just as some little defensive things. Uh, we could even add a wall if you if you want or a window. So add a wall and a window. Okay, cool. So now those are in my inventory. And what I'm gonna do is, oh, if you jump twice, you go into this fly mode so you can start flying around. And now I'm going to set up basically a little shooting range area for myself to snipe from. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay, sorry. I was tripping out there. Uh, so now I'm just gonna set up some high points so that we have some like kind of elevation to snipe from. Different elevations is always cool. Different areas is nice. But basically I needed some ramps just for a cover. And then if you want, you could set up some like, some walls and windows but not really necessary we'll put one in here just for for fun right there great all right so we've got our little uh pieces of cover now what we're going to do is set up our own spawn back here as well as our weapon spawn so we're going to go to my island go to creative and we're going to go over to devices we are going to go to uh, player spawn. I always have a hard time finding this one. I don't know why. Player spawn. It's player checkpoint. Keep scrolling down. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to search for it. It's a blue one. Player spawn pad. Okay, we're throwing this in right here. And we're going to that item. And then we're gonna put this back here, facing this way. There's a player spawn there, a player spawn here, in case we have multiple people playing. 
and I'll spawn in over here. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna put some chests down here. So I'm gonna go over into my island once again, go to creative, go to weapons, and take this out of our search box. And what we want to do is just, uh, we'll just go uh, mythic, and then we want to find a sniper. Uh, we'll throw a Cobra DMR into this chest. So what you can do is just click add to chest. And then I'm going to go find a sniper rifle. I'm looking for, you could also search this, but I'm just making it kind of straightforward for you. Actually, I guess I'm not making it straightforward at all. This is making it more difficult. Hunter bolt action, add to chest. See how these are adding over to this chest over here. And then we're also going to go over to consumables. And I'm going to find some shockwave grenades just because I like to use shockwaves. Um, you could also like throw in some chili splashes so you could speed yourself up if you wanted to. But uh, I just like to practice with shockwaves as well. I'll throw a jump pad in here too. Sure. That's fun. Okay. So now our chest is over here. It's got these items in it. We're going to do create chest. And that spawns this little chest. Now you can uh, grab it with right click or right trigger and just set it kind of down here. And I'm gonna place a few of them so that if there's other people playing, they can grab weapons too. So, and you can also like, then that way you can hold like a couple snipes if you don't wanna reload as much. Uh, okay, so now we've got our player spawns in, we've got our weapons, we've got our cover. Now we just need to get some enemies in here. So what we're going to do is go back to my island, creative, and we're going to, uh, what am I doing? Devices. <laughs> and uh, we're looking for guard spawner, I think it's called. Guard spawner, yeah. So we're gonna put guard spawner in number one slot. And then we're gonna go and select that. And where are we? So looking out from where we're shooting, we'd like to have these guys kind of over here. And then, uh, we go ahead and go in here and we can come up to him and customize. Shadow's fine. Number of guards. Let's do three because I'd like to just kind of have smaller groups and I'll spawn a few of them. And then uh, what we want to do is put him on the wildlife team for now. Spawner time, three seconds. That's three seconds between their death. They'll spawn again. Spawn radius, we're going to change to like 20 meters is probably pretty good. Starting health, we're going to go 200 Max health, 200. Starting shield, we'll do 50. 50, so that way they have 250, and it's like um, zero build. We'll do enable patrol. Their patrol distance will be, we'll just say 25 meters. That's fine. Visibility range, that's how far out they can see. We're just going to max this out to 250, so they can see us from really far away. And team awareness propagation, that means they're just going to be uh, tipped off by their own teammates as to where you are and all that. So that's good. Uh, drop inventory on elimination. That's going to be no. We don't really care about the weapons. Accuracy, we're going to set to low. And we are good to go. Now, I think that's, yeah, we're good to go. So we're going to hit OK on this guy. So he's got this big radius of spawn radius here. We're going to take him. We're going to duplicate him by uh, left clicking. We'll put another one of these guys like out here so that they're kind of close to us so that um, they're going to tip off their friends about where we are when they see us up here. So there'll be some pressure on us. We'll put another one of this, the same team over here. Uh, maybe one up on this hill. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set. So these guys are set to uh, wildlife or whatever. And I'm going to set another team over here behind me. And I'm actually going to make them friendly. Uh, so I'm going to set this guy here. I'm going to customize. And I'm going to set them to team one. So I believe that is our team. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm just going to set like two of these guys here. So we have three, six, nine, 12 targets to shoot at. These guys should be shooting up at these guys on the hill on team one. 
We've got three, six, nine, twelve. It's not quite enough targets. We're gonna copy a couple more of these. Set them over here. Okay, that's probably pretty good. We could have like another team over here. Uh, and what I'd like to do is put this team like right here and make it kind of an enemy team of theirs. So I'll put another customize and I'm gonna go into team and I'm gonna set this to team one. That way this guy and this guy will fight so they'll give us a little bit more of a different dynamic feel. And uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good now. Okay, so let's just go ahead and run the game and see what happens. So what we're curious about right now is if team one is indeed our team or not, which they should be spawning right next to us. So we spawn in with our chest, that's great. We can grab our loot. We've got sniper. And yeah, so this guy's on our team, that's great. So now these guys are gonna shoot at our teammates here, guard one, and we can use this cover and practice our snipes. This is a pretty far shot. So I'm thinking about moving these bots to a different spot, but this is all right. I think it'd be better to set up some better cover a little bit out front, but for now, this is all right. We're going to set up some different distances for our cover here. So we're going to set up a couple more like walls. If we want to get up close with these guys, we're going to give ourselves like a little kind of like some more options to play cover, peak shots, that sort of thing. Uh, and then we're also going to put up some ramps. So I'm going to copy one of these. Put some more ramps like down here. I don't know why that's rotating funny. Okay. Okay, so now we have like a really basic warm up map and uh, we're pretty much good to go. There's a team over here that is also on our team. We're gonna actually move him a little bit closer to these guys so that they duke it out a little bit more. But yeah, it's a pretty target-rich environment at this point, and uh, pretty happy with it. Now let's run the game one more time and see what happens. All right, yeah, so we've placed out enough groups of enemies to give us plenty of different ranges to shoot at, and uh, this is really going to warm up your sniper skills, I promise. I, uh, this immensely helped with my sniping. It made me a lot more comfortable with the sniper and with leading shots and just kind of just getting a feel of the pacing of when to shoot and that sort of thing, how to use cover. So I hope this helps you guys out. If it does, please subscribe to the channel. I promise I've got a lot more to offer you and uh, I'm making a lot more Fortnite content. So keep an eye out for it. All right, thank you for watching guys. Have a good day. Shinobi out.